when I was building out my van, I had a list of things that needed to get done, like the bed, the sink, building a toilet, having a refrigerator, all these things. And one of the things on my list was being stealth out on the road now that I'm living in a van. I watched all the videos just like everybody else and I read a lot of blogs and most of these blogs and videos were talking about how to basically be invisible living in a van. And they would say little tips Make sure you have tinted windows and make sure that you don't have too many windows in your van. Get a construction vest and hang it on the edge of your seat or put a clipboard on your dashboard to make it look like you're a construction worker. Putting decals numbers like the transportation department or something like that. And there was all these tips about how to basically make your van look like something it's not. To make it look like you're not living in your van. I didn't even question it. I was just like, yeah, I need to do those things. I need that. But as I got into living in the van and doing it for years, I was like, I think there's a total misconception about what stealth is. When I was thinking about the word stealth, I would think of like a ninja, totally unseen, but being able to go wherever and do whatever. And also I've talked to other people and I've heard them, the way they, they describe stealth van camping is almost like they have a Harry Potter invisibility cloak and they just put that invisibility tarp over their van and then shazam, they, they're no longer seen. Nobody can see you in this gigantic van. Am I stealthy? Can you see me still? But you know it's not stealthy. That subscribe button, hit it and hit the notification bell and throw a like on this video. Ooh, ooh. I'm not saying that you shouldn't try to be stealth, but I want to talk about a few things that's on my mind about it because I think it's really important, especially for those that are just getting started in van life, to kind of understand a little bit more about what the term stealth means or what it should mean. I did look it up in the dictionary to be cautious, unobtrusive, a secretive way of moving, and the intention is to avoid detection or not attract attention to yourself. That's a, a, a better way to think about being stealth. You're not gonna be invisible in a van. Now, prior to me living in this van, I did live in a car and I really do think that living in a van and living in a car or a minivan or an SUV, you can be more stealth. And I think the stealthiness applies more to when you are living in those types of vehicles because when I was living in my car, for example, if you roll up pretty much anywhere, you just, you're in a car. And if your car looks junky or you have t-shirts hanging in the windows to block out the light, it looks like there's a bed in your car, then of course that's not being stealthy. That's not being out of the way. So I made a video here about being stealthy while living in a car because I do think that you can be more hidden when you're living in a smaller vehicle that most people drive because one of the biggest things is that with a smaller vehicle, you're typically not gonna have some of the things that you would see on a van like solar panels or fans on top of your roof. So that leads to the question of why are you trying to be stealth? And the reason that people should try to be stealth living in a vehicle is because not everywhere is van friendly. I'd say most of the people that are living this lifestyle are trying to travel or trying to be somewhere that's free, that you don't have to pay for. If you're gonna be a van life person and you're gonna stay at campgrounds or boondocking on BLM land or national forest or being away from cities and neighborhoods and things like that, you don't really have to worry about it because you're if you're at a campground, you're paying for it so you don't have to hide from anybody. Boondocking, you're away from everybody so it, it really does not matter. You don't really need to worry about rigging out your van to make it look not suspicious because you're just doing whatever you want. But if you are more like a road tripping van life person and you're traveling to different cities and you're trying to experience like national parks and different restaurants and different excursions and, and experiences along the way, little roadside attractions, you're gonna have to have a place to park every night. And so in that case, you're probably gonna have to stay kind of in a city environment. And that's when stealth comes into play. Which leads me to the next question is, who are you trying to be stealthy from? I don't think really anybody addresses this question. Who are you trying to hide from? Who, who are you, who? So I broke it down into three categories. Number one, you're trying to hide from police or authorities, especially if you're in an area that it's illegal to habitate in your vehicle or it's illegal to park at certain times in certain places. Number two is businesses and residents. And third, 
I would say this more so applies to women, but I don't want to like put that because I'm not a man, so I've never traveled as a man, but I can speak as a solo traveler that being stealthy and trying to go unnoticed is important for me so that someone doesn't try to follow me or try to do some crazy things to try to kidnap me or do something even worse. Police and parking enforcement. Let's just keep it 100% real. If you're living in a van that has solar panels or fan, a deck or something that's not just a flat roof, police and parking enforcement already know that it's a recreational vehicle. Somebody's probably in there sleeping or living. So you're not going to fool anybody with a construction vest right here. If you're trying just to not get a knock from the authorities or trying not to get a ticket, don't try to play those tricks because it's just kind of a waste of time. The first thing that came to my mind was this movie, Twins. Danny DeVito is a regular sized car. Arnold Schwarzenegger is a sprinter van. You're not hiding from anybody. Some things are not like the others. When you're parked in certain places and you're, you're not gonna blend in, it really also depends on the type of van you have. So for example, my van is a Chevy Express van and I thought, you know, I'll just paint it white like a lot of work trucks. And that's one of the reasons why I did paint it white. But my van has so many windows it, that it just looks like a regular family van, a traditional passenger van. So when I'm like trying to make it look like a construction work truck, I'm not fooling anybody with that. It's really not, I'm not, I'm not doing that. And then secondly, if you have a taller van, like a sprinter van or a Ram Promaster, that's significantly taller, like nine, 10 or more feet. I don't know how tall those vans get, but my van needs a clearance of like nine feet. So I would imagine a sprinter is at least a foot or two more. I don't know, don't hold me to that. When I look around parking lots, especially like if I'm at Walmart, for example, when I come out of the store, I immediately, my eye immediately goes to my white tall van. And when I'm anywhere, I, I personally notice vans because since I do van life, I just, it sticks out to me more. But you could just scan a parking lot and be like, lives in their van, lives in their van, probably just a passenger van. It's not a secret that somebody's probably in there. There's little telltale signs, you know, especially if somebody has, you know, a, a privacy curtain. People that are in enforcement, they know these tricks, they know it. Second of all is business owners and neighbors. So if you're parking in gyms, Bass Pro Shops, Cracker Barrel and all these things, people know that vans and van life people are going to those places. In those places, you kind of don't need to even kind of hide because they do allow overnight parking. But if you're gonna try to park somewhere maybe that doesn't have no overnight parking signs, but you're not really sure, if you're parked and there's regular cars and then you're like the tallest van there, people are gonna know. And if you park on a residential street, you can kind of blend in and it really just depends on the neighborhood. If it's a more fancier neighborhood and they have a neighborhood watch, then most likely uh, somebody's probably gonna call the authorities and be like, there's a strange van if it's a tight knit community. And if you just park in like a regular residential neighborhood, if nobody really knows their neighbors, they don't know if they've invited friends to come stay for the weekend or stay overnight, or they just have, you know, relatives in town that has a van, they don't know. So it really depends on where you're parking in residential. If you're parking in hotel parking lots and things like that, there's plenty of travelers and like rest stops and parking rides and stuff like that. So that's kind of a better way to go. And then the third category is just mainly for safety reasons. Being stealth is more so about how you carry yourself. So when you have your van, you do wanna have tinted windows because you don't want somebody to be able to look in and see a sink that has dishes or a bed that's in there because they're, they're gonna know, people are gonna know. So they might, if there's somebody that wants to do some harmful things, they might wanna follow you or try to break in and steal from you or something like that. When you go into stores, you just, you know, get out of the front door, don't come out of the side doors, come out of the front door, go into the store, make sure that you're looking around at your surroundings and stuff like that. So being stealth in that regard is the most important thing for safety. It's not so much your van. Another thing to think about about being stealthy is if you are in another state, your license plate gives you away. If you are traveling in another state and you're parked somewhere, people are going to know you're out of place. You're probably traveling. And if it's a decent sized van, it's probably somebody that's road tripping, living in their van. I've had a couple experiences where people in residential neighborhoods were like, get out of our neighborhood because no matter where you're parking, more people know about van life. So it's not as 
like hidden as it used to be. Another great tip that I've learned over the years of living in a van is just try to blend in as much as you can. Don't park in an area where there's zero cars, especially if you're in a tall van, you're just gonna stick out. Like, why is this van randomly parked here with nobody around? That looks suspicious, like you're doing something or your van broke down and maybe they're gonna tow the van. So don't put yourself in that situation. Now, if your van is like a neon purple and you have decals and stickers, or you have something painted on the side, like follow my YouTube journey, here's my Instagram handle, then you're gonna stick out. And sometimes that's okay. Sometimes being anti-stealth works in your favor because people are just like, cool, I accept van life, that's cool, I don't mind. And sometimes it's just really not that serious. Just do what you wanna do. But when you are gonna go that route, just know that people are gonna know, especially if you have your information on the van, people are gonna know that you're in there. So recently I was in the San Diego area and I took a walk and I filmed an area that is van life friendly. Ocean Beach is a neighborhood in San Diego where many van life people park there overnight. I'd say for the most part, people do move spots to spots, but there's some people that just park their van there night after night after night. I don't think that's cool, but hey, that's just me. But I took some of this footage just to show how crazy a difference it looks when you know what van life looks like. So you'll see car, 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 and then big van. And just as somebody that does van life, I started to think like, okay, does that look like a van that somebody's living in? Does it have solar panels? Yes, they probably live in there. And there'd be ones that kind of do look like work vans. So I got a little bit closer and I could see in their windows that it was an actual work van. It looked like a work van because it was a work van. But the ones that tried to look like work vans, I immediately knew. So if me, a regular person, knew, then police or parking enforcement will know as well. I don't want any of this to deter anybody from doing van life. Or for sure, I don't want this to instill any more fear in anybody's mind. Like, oh, you know what? Now I really don't want to do van life because I'm afraid that I'm not going to blend in enough. In fact, I think this message is more so just to take a sigh of relief and be like, I don't have to do all the things to try to be the most stealth. I live in a van, it's fine. I may get the knock occasionally. For the most part, you'll be fine. Most people just go about their business and they don't worry about it. Be aware if there's laws where you can't habitate and just be as cautious as you can, but not cautious to the point of fear, but just live the freedom that is van life and just do the best you can finding parking. I have plenty of videos about where you can park living in a van. And in fact, in my next video, I'll be posting like, I don't know, 25, 26, 30 different spots that you can park. Just so that is one less thing that you have to think about. Try to stay as stealthy as possible without letting it drive you crazy. Until next time, bye for now. Snack time. Snack time.